And just how would you reflect on, on that victory against Stoke? Yeah, it was a very good win. Um, I think we deserved the win. Uh, we created a lot of chances in the first half and the second half. Um, but yeah, struggled to put them away in the first half, but I think we got what we deserved from the game, which was a big three points. Is it useful to have the international breaks that you've had so far as a team as you kind of adjust to a different style, a, a new manager? And, and what have you been able to work on during these breaks, do you think, that have helped you put in the kind of performance you showed at the weekend? Um, yeah, I think it's been good having them. It's given us some extra time to um, keep building on things that we want to achieve this season and, and working together as a team. We've got a massive squad, which is which is very good. Um, and you know everyone's been playing playing their part in the squad, so I think yeah, definitely the the breaks have been good. They've given us time to to you know keep bonding bonding well as a team and 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 performing on the training pitch, which hopefully we'll we'll keep planning out in the games. You think things are coming together now? It was encouraging, wasn't it, against Bournemouth, and now to follow it up and with the result as well against Stoke. Yeah, definitely things are coming together. I think we've got a a style of play now which everybody understands and, and is committing to and I think it's, it's really starting to pay off. We're creating a lot of chances and defensively we're, lo we're looking good as well. If we can just, just try and cut out little mistakes um, and try and limit the chances we're giving to opposition teams, then, then I think we'll keep creating chances and scoring goals. You need that run now though, don't you, to sort of back it up, to get yourselves right back amongst the top six and, and in contention. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a tough league. Um, and it's a very long season, obviously. You don't want to be looking at the table too much at the moment, but ultimately that's that's a, a big part of, of the championship, the league table. So we, we know we know our position in it and we know what we need to do to get where we want to be. So it's just about keep doing that throughout the season. One of the issues that has been there this year is, is this, the type of goals you're conceding. A lot of them have been avoidable. How do you rectify that as a team, do you think? I think it's just switching on, staying switched on for for ninety plus minutes, um, and they're, they're things we can fix easily as well. So I think once we get that right, then then we'll be good. On a personal level, how have you found the season so far? How much are you enjoying playing at the moment? Yeah, um, beginning of the season is frustrating for me. Um, I didn't really get much of an opportunity, but obviously I've I've had. Um, a few opportunities recently so so I'm grateful for that and for me it's just about focusing on on what I do when I get on the pitch and ultimately it's, it's the manager's decision at the end of the day on the team that he, that he wants to pick and as I said before we've got a big squad and everyone's going to play their part so no matter which which team gets selected if I'm playing if I'm not playing I, I just want the best for the team. How difficult is that for a player you know having to, to wait having to be patient because you have had to be patient haven't you during your time at Sheffield United? Yeah, definitely. Um, but you sort of you sort of know that, especially when coming to a new team, that you need to be patient and wait for your opportunity. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I knew I knew that I'd have to be patient and wait for my chance, and just hopefully I can I can keep taking my chance when when they come my way. What do you expect in this next game? What kind of game do you do you anticipate? Um, they'll be physical. It'll be a tough game, but I think again it's just down to us and what we do if we're defensively strong. Um, we know we're going to create chances going forward and, and hopefully we can score.